So, okay. So, using so another Wireshark activity. So, using Wireshark to observe the TCP three-way handshake. So, objectives is uh, prepare Wireshark to capture packets. And part is capture, locate, and examine packets. Okay, so background scenario. So in this lab, you will use Wireshark to capture and examine packets generated between the PC browser using the HTTP and the web server, such as uh, google.com. Okay. Uh, when an application such as HTTP or FTP first starts on a host, so TCP uses the three-way handshake to establish a reliable TCP session between the two hosts. Okay. Okay. For example, when a PC uses a web browser to serve the internet, a three-way handshake is initiated and a session is established between the PC host and web server. So, PC can have uh, multiple simultaneous active TCP sessions with various websites. Okay. So, this lab cannot be completed using NetLab. This lab assumes that you have internet access. Okay. We have an internet access. Okay. So required resources, okay, we only have one PC, so Windows 7. We're using Windows 7 Ultimate. Part 1, prepare Wireshark to capture packets. So in part 1, you will start the Wireshark program and select the appropriate interface to begin capturing packets. So step 1, retrieve the PC interfaces. I uh, will be getting the IP address and the MAC address. Okay. So write down the IP address to look for write down the IP and MAC address associated with the selected internet adapter. That is the source address to look for when examining pa capture packets. Okay. So so CD. Yes. So IP config. All so our 192.168.107. So this is our 192.168.107. That is our IP address, and then our physical address EOD55. EOD55E E98B 8B and uh, A4. Okay, so that is our host and MAC address, host IP and MAC address. Okay. So start by shark and select appropriate interface. Okay. And so the active interface will show traffic activities. So I think we only have one active traffic, so which is the local uh, area network. Okay. So capture, locate, and examine uh, packets. Okay, start. Minimize the browser and return to. Okay. So we will start. Capture data. And we will open the google.com. Okay. And then. Minimal browser and return to Russia. Stop the data capture. Okay, we'll start this now. Okay. Next, the capture window is not active. It's now active. Locate the source destination protocol columns. Source destination protocol. Okay. So locate appropriate packets for the web session. So if the computer was recently started. There is no activity accessing the internet. You can see the entire process in the uh, captured output, including the ARP, DNS, and TCP three-way handshake. Ah, okay. But we already accessed the internet earlier. So if the PC already had the ARP ready for the default gateway, it means it started with the NS query to resolve the the web the, 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 the TCP UDP. On UDP, there is a TCP here out of some of the TCP, but most of all it is UDP. Huh? 
Of the domain name, uh, the IP address of the web server, because you have the IP address before it can send the first part to the web server. What is the IP address? But we don't have a uh, DNS eh? because we already have access to the internet earlier. But let's see. IP address of the DNS server. So our DNS server is our default gateway. So which means uh, 192.168.1.1. One one. Okay. And about TCP here. MDNS. MDNS. Multicast domain name system query. Okay. Okay. We also have a DNS. Standard query. Google.com. It has a destination 122.2.1.6. I think that. But we have a DNS server for our default gateway. DNS server? Let's see. What is our DNS server? 122.2.1.6.5.1.8.1. Ah, okay. So this is our DNS server. Uh, sorry. So we have. 182. Uh, One two two one two one six five one eight one. Okay, that is our DNS server. So we also have a secondary DNS server one five seven. Okay, we okay, have a destination there. Next. Frame 7 is the response from the other server. Frame 7. But we are now on the. Okay. So that is on the. On the let's see. So it is base 4. Uh, when we are not. Uh, accessing the internet, but we already have it. So, frame 7 is the response from the SS server. It contains the IP address of google.com. Find the appropriate packet for the start of your three-way handshake. In the example frame, it is the start of the TCP three-way handshake. Okay, the on After the DNS, we have the TCP. Let's see. Find it. So, I'll give DP, MDNS, then the DNS, source, okay, so it's a query, then the DNS, standard query response, okay, we now have the, I think this is the, uh, source, okay, destination. So uh, the source IP is our DNS server, and destination is our host. Okay, domain name system, okay, it's a response. So I think it is the resolve uh, IP address of women.com. Let's look up uh, Google. Oops. Should be Google.com. So one seven two two one seven one six one nine six four. Okay, this is definitely the IP address of Google.com. Okay, so it is a response from our DNS server. Next, we will. So the response, okay. So it contains the IP addresses. For us, we have 
the uh, frame 164 164 that is the response from DNS next is find the appropriate packet for the start of retrieving hatchery frame rate to start what is the IP address of Google Observer okay so I think we are now using okay so destination is 172 to 17 okay so I think this is the uh, start of our uh, three-way handshake so we have our uh, host the uh, source IP address 192.168.1.7 and our destination address is the IP address of google.com that, that we obtained from the DNS okay. next so our, uh, the IP address of google web server uh, 172 that to 17 to 17 to 17 161 164 164 okay that is our uh, that is the IP address of Google web server Next, if you have many packets that are unrelated to the TCP uh, connection, it may necessary to use the okay. will be filtering it with TCP. TCP. Okay. So all the UTP message packets are now gone. So examine the information within packets including IP addresses, TCP port numbers, and TCP control flags. So in our example, so frame 8 is the start of the three-way handway uh, three-way handshake between PC and Google Web Server. So in our case we have 166, the frame 166 hour start of our three-way handshake. So this highlights the line and displays the decoded information from that packet in the two lower panes. Okay, examine the TCP information, the packet details pane. Click the icon left of the where is it? Click the plus icon into the left of TCP in the packet details pane to expand up. Let's see. So we have this one, TCP, this one, and then what else? Click the, the left of transmission control protocol. Or click plus okay to the left of the plugs. Okay. Okay, to expand so, at the source and destination ports the plugs that are set let's see so based on the plugs what is our destination port so our destination port is uh, 443 and the uh, source port is for 53100 53100 so it is not located in the uh, plugs okay. so it is a CY SYN so it's synchronized so synchronization okay okay next so you have to adjust the top and middle okay to display my so you need to adjust this one okay so I think that's enough what is the TCP source port number okay so our TCP source port number so our TCP source port number is the 53100 so how would you classify the source port so it is a uh, what is it's called it, is it the dynamic uh, so it is uh, I think it is the dynamic port no? then what is the TCP destination port number we have 443 so it is a uh, well known port so which flag or flags is set so we have let's see so the set is the CYN flag CYN what is the relative sequence, sequence number set to so we have relative sequence we have 0 okay. so it's a relative sequence number so to select the next frame, the next way, handshake, select go on the Wireshark menu and select 
Uh, next packet in conversation. In this example, this is frame 13. This is the web, Google Web Server reply to the initial request. Okay, let's see. So we have 166 as our uh, SYN or our first uh, transmission or, or and a three way handshake. Go to the next next packet. Select next packet in con for conversation. So uh, go next packet in conversation. Where is it? So I think it's 193. It is the 193. Three 193. Okay. Okay. So what are the values of the source and destination ports? Okay, now the destination. Okay, now the source port is B443. And the uh, now the source port is 443 and the destination port is 53100. So, earlier we have this destination port as 443. And then the source port as this one. So, it now it is reversed. Because it is the reply from our web server. So, which flags are set? We can see that acknowledgement and synchronize are are both set what are the relative sequence and acknowledgement number set to so I have a relative sequence number so it's uh, still zero and then our acknowledge number is uh, set to one so finally I examine the third packet of the three-way handshake in the example click frame 14 the top window to display the final okay we will next or this one. I think this is one. So examine which flag or flags are set. So we have the acknowledgement. So only the acknowledgement is set. Okay, because, ah, because this is the reply from our host. So it is acknowledgement from our host. So, relatives, so the relative sequence and acknowledgement numbers are set to 1 as a starting point. So the TCP connection is established and communication between the source, computer, and web server can begin. Okay. Now the both, uh, the web server and our host are now acknowledged. Uh, so now can they start communicating? So there are hundreds of filters available in Wireshark. A large network could have numerous filters and many different types of traffic. These three filters that might be useful to a network administrator. So we can use, we can filter by, so it's TCP, no? More on TCP. Also we can use the HTTP because uh, we are accessing HTTP. HTTP uh, or a site, a website. Right. What other ways could Wireshark be used in production network? Other ways could Wireshark be used in production network? So I think this is our assignment. <laughs> okay, so what other ways could Wireshark be used in production network? So we're done on our activity. So TCP three way handshake.